Joseph iba a ser nuestro uh, Joseph, siguiente testimonio. Uh, Sin embargo, estará asistiendo a un funeral y por lo tanto, with us, but we do have no estará con nosotros. Saji, pero tenemos uh, a Saji. Abraham, Abraham from, also from India, from Business Men's Fellowship. Saji manages a Saji quality control firm. De, una catering firma de, in, uh, eh, to train de and certification of food and beverage. Uh, he holds an office in one of the business and fellowship chapters there in the state of, de, I hope I can pronounce this okay, Tamalindu. Oh my, Tamalindu. I ruined that Perdón, one. Sé que a lo mejor no <laughs> Sorry lo about that, Saji, but we welcome you to bueno, share your story with us today. Thank you so much, Shai. I mean, I greet you all muchas in the gracias. wonderful name of Jesus, and it's such a joy to be with you este all, listening to all these testimonies, testimonies how wonderful the Lord has been. In fact, this evening, I'm, I'm here with you to share one of my testimonies, which is actually happening in, in the place of work that we are in, in the profession that we collect. You know, just as uh, uh, Blake was trying to explain, the name of the company is Shemak Business Consultancy, and we are into lean management of six Sigma concepts. Quality management, certification, and training is the primary area that we are in. But prior to that, I've been in the plantation sector, wherein we take care of production of tea, coffee, cardamom, pepper, etc., which is exported across the nations and most of our produce is in organic form. So we've had the privilege of actually dealing with a lot of people and in a country like ours in India, as you all know, you know, though the, Jesus is known well around, but then as, the, as a culture, as a country, I mean, very little of Jesus is known in the workplace. And our, my testimony this evening is about how wonderfully BMFI India and in the individual workplaces we've been able to put together the various experiences of how Jesus has been portrayed to the people who do not know him. One such experience is when in, during my work in the plantation, you know, like, uh, we, I, I've worked in a plantation company as a director for many years, and uh, one, of the, one of the keynote experiences that I've had in showing Jesus to the people is, I mean, they are people who've never read the Bible, they do not know, they've only heard about Jesus, they don't know anything more, no going to church, do not know much about God, they're not spiritually inclined, nothing like that. And here comes a day suddenly in my life where God places me in this particular plantation, and my question to him is, Lord, why have you brought me in here? So far away from the, you know, the city and the hustle and bustle of life, and you brought me to such a remote place. And very clearly, the Lord spoke to me and said, Saji, I have a purpose about placing you down here. And I said, God, I want to thank you for understanding that purpose. And that day, God spoke to me from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse 10, which goes like this. It says, you are God's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus to do the good works that God prepared in advance for you to do. And that word very clearly spoke me to say, Saji, you are here in this plantation right now because of the advance and divine plan of God. And there is some good work that he wants you to do here. You know, days went by. There was nothing much of an improvement that I could bring in that place because that place was actually in a dilapidated And then I used to go on my knees every day and pray, God, all I need is your help, wisdom, guidance and grace to somehow bring this to the next level of operations. Enable us to break away from the condition that it is in. And the Lord very clearly spoke to me and said, I will guide you and I will take you forward. So the next morning, I go to my tea factory, I call all the people, the managers there, and I say, okay, here, we are on a project and we are going to take this forward. We are going to do something different. You know, they all listen to me very well. And after my speech and talk to them, they gave me a big applause and sent me back to my office. When I reach my office, there comes the officer in charge and he says, sir, sir can I speak to you for a minute? He said, all your talk was nice, but don't think that you're going to achieve any results here. Because many people have tried to do many things and everyone has failed. And you're the, the one out of enthusiasm because you are new out there, you're trying to do something great. Don't waste your time. You look like a nice guy, so I thought I must tell you this, and I've come here out of human, humanity. I just felt that I should share this with you. I was broken hearted. I went back to my house and I went on my knees and I said, God, I don't know how to take this forward, not with this attitude of people. And the Lord said, I will show you what needs to be done. 
Y Dios you know, me dijo, yo te voy a mostrar que hay que pasar un par de días. Llegué otra vez a la plantación a la persona. Person to speak to, y yo dije, Señor, si tú me das a una persona que hable, es lo único que quiero. Una vez que hice ese pedido, la siguiente mañana se acercó a mí una persona y me dijo, no, no te importa lo que nadie te diga. Yo te pido. Y yo dije, ok, Señor, gracias. Yo solo necesitaba a una persona que se parara en eso conmigo. Entonces, yo sabía que Dios tenía algo especial. Y a partir de ese día, el Señor empezó a hacer que las cosas empezaran a funcionar, a ponerlos en lugar. La gente empezó a cooperar. No sabemos cómo fue, pero Dios empezó a hacer que las cosas empezaran a funcionar. Fue todo gracias a Dios. Y todos los que estaban en contra de Dios, en realidad, estaban en contra de Dios. Y Dios empezó a hacer que las cosas empezaran a funcionar. Fue todo gracias a Dios. Y todos los que estaban en contra de Dios, en realidad, estaban en contra de Dios. Y Dios empezó a hacer que las cosas empezaran a funcionar. Fue todo gracias a Dios. Y todos los que estaban en contra de Dios, en realidad, estaban en contra de Dios. Y Dios empezó a hacer que las cosas empezaran a funcionar. Fue todo gracias a Dios. Y todos los que estaban en contra de Dios, en realidad, Ahora, para resumir la historia, recibimos un premio para el mejor café de la región de Asia en el mejor continente asiático. En una región geográfica bastante grande. Y cuando recibimos estos premios, estos reconocimientos, los trajimos de regreso a los trabajadores. Ahora, ellos no conocen a Jesús. No sabían nada de Él. Y le dije, Jesús, te quiero dar a ti gracias por el reconocimiento que nos has dado, que no hubiera sido posible por un esfuerzo humano. A ti te doy toda la gloria y agradecimientos. Las personas que estaban ahí entendieron y una palabra de ellos diciendo, Señor, no sabemos quién es usted, pero una cosa que sí vemos es que todos los días usted llega a un lugar de trabajo y usted ora, y a un Dios que se llama Jesús. Y nosotros hemos estado aquí por generaciones trabajando en esta planta, y nunca hemos visto algo así, que usted haya hecho 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 algo así, que
y podemos saber que ahora esos premios es el testimonio del amor y del poder de Dios. Ese es el testimonio que estamos presentando. Y eso es algo que ahora implemento en todos los negocios. Estamos llevando esta experiencia a donde vamos, permitiendo que la experiencia y la presencia de Dios invada cada una de las áreas de negocios en las que nos encontramos para que ellos puedan ver que Dios tenemos es un buen Dios. Especialmente durante ese tiempo estamos levantando el nombre de Jesús para mostrar a las personas quién es nuestro Dios. Y esto es la el gozo que podamos tener en esta vida, en esta tierra, mostrar a nuestros Dios, a estas personas y estas almas puedan encontrarse con nosotros en el cielo, alabando juntos. Y es el mejor premio que podamos recibir en esta vida. Le doy gloria a Dios, sé que se me acabó el tiempo. Le doy gloria a Dios completamente por este testimonio que puedo compartir desde la India. Gracias a todos ustedes por escuchar este testimonio. Estoy seguro que podemos darle gloria a Dios. Todos somos obras de Dios, creados en Cristo Jesús para hacer las obras que Dios Let's take the legacy of Jesus forward. Hagamos. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Amen. Dios les bendiga. Gracias por estar. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Sanji. Hallelujah. Gracias, Sanji. Joseph Wilson will be very pleased. You know that he is he's watching from where he is right now. So I'm sure he's pleased too. But above all, God is certainly pleased 